Hello, my name is Zach and I am with Fieldworker. I'll be assisting you in understanding tasks as well as completing tasks. What we can see on my home screen on Fieldworker, I have a task currently present, which is showing to call Sunny. But what I want to do is I want to create a task to visit Sunny. So what I will do is click the little plus icon right here and I will enter in a title. So this will be uh, Visit Sunny's Home. The description will be Reach Out to Sunny at his home, or any additional identifiers that I could place in the description should go there. The project will be the project it is assigned to which will show in your dropdown. For me, it is Sunny Mirror IS. I'll go ahead and click that. Any prerequisites that may be a part of the uh, task, as well as the type of task. Now, your type of task is your serviceable activity. So in this case, you can see that there is a home visit, phone call, CBS visit, and if I scroll down, there we go, uh, we have IS visit. Now, I'm actually just going to choose home visit for this and move on to the next step. From here, I'll be able to select a date and location. So we can see that we are starting from, let's say, right now until um, 1 p.m. or 105. That went to 1 a.m. So it looks like it's a 24 hour clock. So we'll say that it is. 13.05. Click OK. And there we go. And you can see it updates. Next, we'll select the location. If I click on select the location, it'll give me the drop down for the area. And there we are. And then I'll click next step. Now we have who it is assigned to. This is assigned to me. I could select somebody else to assign it to, but I would like to complete this task. The priority of the task, I'll set it to medium, and if it is billable to the customer. Lastly, if there are any additional notes that you need to add, you can now add in additional information, maybe something along the lines of, please knock on door and state that it is you before entering anything that can assist in understanding the task to completion. Now that the task is created, I can go back home. So now that we can see where our task is, it is on the home screen. If you do not see the task immediately, all you need to do is click the top left, log out, and then sign back in. There won't be any major need to sign in and add in your password, because all of that is stored on your phone. See, if I log out and then click log back in, all I need to do is select my account. And just like that, I'm back in the system. We can see that I now have call Sunny as well as visit Sunny's home. If I click visit Sunny's home, we can see all of the information that I provided, the description, the task type, the project, as well as the start and end date when the task was created and any additional notes and location. Now, if I wanted to check in to the location because I'm going to be completing the task, I will go ahead and click this little icon here. When I do, I'll get a pop-up that says check in. Now I need to be at the location to check in. You cannot be away from the area. So if you're on your way to the location and you're trying to check in, it will not allow you. So I'm going to press check in because I am at the location. We can see that the icon is blue. Now, when the task is completed, you will need to check out at the location as well. So once the task is completed, go ahead and click check out. If you did forget to check out at the location, 
do contact your administrator and they will be able to enter in a checkout time for you. This does not mean that you should not check out. You should always try to make sure that you are able to check out at the location. Once that is completed, you are able to complete your tasks. But I do want to mention about this little phone icon. So you are able to make outgoing phone calls using the application. If you click on the phone, you can see that a pop-up will appear with the phone number. You can make the phone call and it will record the phone call's information, not the call itself. So if I close out of the app, it's checking to see that I was checked in. Was the call accepted? If it was, it will then give me the details of the call. So the recipient who accepted, the project name, task type, the recipient's phone number, the start time, and the duration of the call. With that, that is everything you need to know about task types. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please email at support at fieldworker.ai. Thank you.